Is that way too much guitar? All right, so here we are. We're going to try it live today. Unfortunately, you guys aren't going to be here for it. So what we have worked on is we're trying to put together, uh, well, actually, I guess I get to be you. Just a much older version of that. And um, hopefully, you can still understand the concept. So we're going to utilize these uh, Logger Pro systems with a sound uh, motion detector. Uh, these things are actually pretty amazing. The people at Bernier were able to take a bat and a dolphin. They were actually able to mate those two animals in the lab, and then they took that and they jammed it into that box. It's amazing. I don't know, it's absolutely amazing. Wait, no, they didn't do that. Don't picture that. It doesn't work. That's not, didn't you take biology? No, what is it really? It's gonna send out a sound pulse. Why did I say a bat and a dolphin? Right, good, you guys are smart. Because it, it works by sonar. What's gonna happen here is it's gonna send out a pulse of sound. It's going to reflect off an object and back. And then that goes to the computer, which is going to uh, allow us to graph it in real time. It's actually very simple. I don't need to make it sound more complicated than it is. So. Uh, here we go. We're going to try to match these graphs of displacement versus time. So if we take a look at it, this first one, between on the interval from 0 to 1 second, you guys see what's your position? Yeah, that's right. 1 meter. Good. Piece of cake, right? And then, wait, physically, what are you doing during that time? If you stay at 1 meter. Yeah, you're standing still. And then from one second to three seconds, what can you tell me about the velocity? That's right, it's a constant, positive velocity. And then at three seconds, you see it stops, et cetera, et cetera. Why don't we see what happens? So I'm gonna stand in front, and hopefully we can see if my motion matches the graph. Is my head in the way? All right, you good? Here I am having some technical difficulties. Let's just ignore that. Got a little jumpy on the button over there. Stay tuned. In fact, let's just hit collect for a moment. What I should have done is start off by showing that as I move, it produces a graph of my motion. Now, a couple things to note there. We've got some curves going on. Now, one reason is because I'm very smooth. But the other is that I wasn't moving, well, really, it's that I wasn't moving like a quick, decisive manner. Another thing happened here where it got a little bit of noise. The reflected wave didn't go back to the sensor. Instead, it kind of bounced away. So we're going to try to do, I'm going to try to match that graph. And I'm going to do a better job this time because this is getting embarrassing. You ready? ready? Let's get this done. All right, let's get this done. Oh, so close. That, while being slightly off in terms of displacement, that slope is beautiful. My velocity is almost exact right there. That, that's good stuff. And then here, what happened to my slope? It changed, and was I going too fast or too slow? Yeah, that's right. I was going way, I was going way too fast. And then I didn't stop in time. One last time, you ready? Let's get this, done. this is getting, this is getting better. It's okay. Now, for those of you type A's out there, which actually I know is a whole bunch of you, um, there's just a little bit of noise. Ignore the noise. My slope is pretty nice. I stayed still with zero velocity, and then I had a negative constant velocity. And which way was I walking? That way, right? I was walking, well, from my perspective, to the left in the negative direction. All right, good. So. Let's try the next graph. If we click on that next one, we'll see that the shape is very different. 
And uh, I'm going to try not to make as many mistakes. No. Nice. I'm going to try not to make as many mistakes this time and just nail it. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, no, I wasn't ready. Let's try that again. No, let's try again. Oh, there we go. Now, how'd I do? That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I know that you see where I did the poorest. Where, what interval, what, diff, what time frame did I not match that graph well? Yeah, that's right. Between about four and five seconds, the slope of that is not right. What should I have done? Yep. I should have gone in the negative direction at a faster rate because the slope of this is negative and it's steeper. All right. If you guys are good with that, I'm good with that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. If you were in class, you'd be walking back and forth, making fun of each other about not being able to follow a line. Sorry. But you could see that my motion could be plotted as a graph. Next, we're going to move on to the velocity graph, and this is trickier. So if we go to file open D, nice. Now, velocity graph, what actually happens is the detector measures your displacement, and then it calculates what your velocity is at every instant in time. Okay, So it's, in fact, it's taking an instantaneous velocity over and over and over again. So if I, uh, I'm not matching, I'm just walking, right? If we hit it, I stand still, I'm nailing it. And if I go back and stop, I get that. So somehow, in order to keep a velocity that's at, at exactly 0.5 the whole time, what do I have to do? I gotta move at a constant rate of 0.5 meters per second. Then I stop, and then right here, what do you got? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to move in the negative direction or towards the center. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Ready? Yeah, that wasn't very good. I'm going to try one more time. Now, one thing I will point out is that it's actually pretty hard to move with a constant velocity as somebody that has two feet and walk. Two feet? Two feet and walks. It would be much easier if we had something rolling. All right, let's try it one more time. One more time, that's it. I'm going to go with it. Now, how far did I travel? I traveled in the positive direction to start. You should be able to figure out how far I traveled by, if you were looking at this graph, 0.5 meters for three seconds. Long before physics, you could calculate that. It's easy. How much displacement do I have here during this interval from five to seven seconds? Yeah, nothing, right? I was standing still, trying to. And then here, if we were to find the area under this curve, we'd have a negative velocity of 0.5 times the time of 3. So what was my displacement? Yeah, good. You got it. All right, last one. Last one. We're going to give this a try. See how it goes. Uh, I don't know if I can do this one right. It's been a long, it's been a long time. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not ready. Look at this. The velocity gets more and more and more. What do we call that? That's right, acceleration. So I'm going to accelerate. Then I'm going to keep a constant velocity, which means I continue to move with the same speed I had at the end of this portion. And then I go in the negative direction. Let's see how this goes. I wasn't ready again. 
Uh, let's try. Faster, faster, faster. Stay fast, stay fast. And then in the other direction. Huh. Okay. Noise. That's not that bad. If I was to do it again, it's probably going to be worse. So I won't. I wish you guys were here to do this lab. It's a lot more fun than watching some old guy do it in front of you. However, I think it does nicely illustrate, and it's good practice to think about. These aren't just lines. There's something moving. So think about it. You got it. What you guys are going to do next, I think, <laughs> my plan, would be for us to break up into groups and finish this worksheet where you actually derive the graphs. You're actually going to derive them and then use words to describe them. I even gave you some sample words. And answer the front and back. You're going to work with your group partners on this. We're going to do breakout Google Meets. This is the first time ever in, in my class that we're going to do this. I think it's going to work. Um, there'll be more information that I'll have to add into this video later about how that all plays out. Fair enough? All right, we're going to cut it there. Thanks.